Hi, good morning. To determine the studies of both equation lines. Okay, first equation line is a delta one, is noted as a delta one. Y equal to mx plus p. M is a is a slope. Slope. We have a second line. Uh, delta two y equal to m prime x plus q. M prime is a slope as well. So we are going to the two cases. The first case when this line no, equation lines are parallel. Okay, when these equation lines are parallel. The second case when these equation lines are perpendicular. Okay, so let's start with the first case. As you see here, as you see here, the first case. Slope here. So let's start with uh, parallel lines. Okay. So the first line delta one. We have y m x plus p as the equation line. So I'm going to calculate m as a slope. M as a slope equal tangent theta tangent theta change in y over change in, in x. Okay, change in y in y. What is that? Is this one? Okay. So let's let's move on to the the delta two. Y equal m prime x plus q. Right. So m prime equal same thing. Since we have parallel lines, so that means they have the same angle. Which is theta because they are parallel. Okay, so that's mean tangent theta tangent theta equal. Let's call it change in y prime, change in y, uh, change in in uh, x prime. Now, as you see here, we have tangent theta, tang but they have same theta, same angle. Okay, both angles. Since we have delta 1 and delta 2 are perpendicular lines, and I have also projection on x axis here, I have right triangle, right angle here. So that's mean both the triangles are similar, are equal to each other, okay? The area of both, the, because I have here the square, okay? And also I have this line perpendicular on this line, I have this x axis. Is a horizontal line is very uh, perpendicular on vertical line. So this this one that's mean this both areas of this triangle triangle both triangles have same area. Okay, and also the second triangle uh, X is a, is a, is a common line is a common line for both triangles. Okay, so that's mean this. Triangle I have a, this is a right triangle. This second triangle is a right triangle. The first triangle is a right triangle as well. So this means this triangle uh, and the first triangle, second triangle are similar. Okay. Okay. That's mean. That's mean they, they have a same angle. Okay. For all of them, for all its angles. Are equal to other angles in the in the first uh, triangle. Okay, that's mean. Let's apply tangent theta in the first uh, in the first example. First for the delta one. Let's apply the slope here. M equal change in y over change in x, which is tangent theta. Okay, so. What is tangent theta? We have tangent theta is a pi over four, so tangent pi over four, which is one, right? M prime equal change in y prime over change in x prime equal tangent what? If we take a look at here, the first triangle, uh, the angle here is going in the in the. If you take a look at here, theta in the first triangle 
is turning around in different direction okay Cl uh, clockwise okay direction and uh, but in the second triangle theta is going to the negative direction okay that's mean we pick up the negative sign of the theta which is since we have tangent theta is an add function so we take minus outside of the, of the tangent out of the tangent since we have tangent theta is an add function because tangent theta equal uh, sine theta theta over cosine theta sine theta is an add function cosine theta is a, is a even function that's mean tangent theta is an add function as well so let's take minus outside of the tangent minus tangent theta which is minus tangent pi over 4 because we calculated uh, theta it was pi over 4 so that's mean for minus 1 okay now since we have uh, m equal 1 m prime equal minus 1 that's mean m multiplied by m prime equal minus 1 okay that's summarization line delta 1 y equal equal to mx plus p the second equation line delta 2 y equal to m prime x plus q 4 delta 1 and, and delta 2 are parallel that's mean they have same slope m equal to m prime delta 1 and delta 2 are perpendicular equivalent m multiplied by m prime equal minus one let's move on to the examples the first question determine an equation line delta y equal to mx plus p which pass through the point a of coordinate one three and parallel to the line d which is y equal to x plus one let's start with the first question so we have delta the equation line y equal to mx plus p since we know this line pass through uh, the point a13 let's let's uh, plug in this one into this one this equation so y we have 3 equal m multiplied by 1 coordinate 1 plus p so we have 3 equal m plus p okay so since both lines are parallel so that means they have same slope which m equal to 1 here this is slope so m equal 1 So this one is telling us put uh, 1 into m here mx plus p since we know p equal 2 m equal 1 let's plug in this one into the equation line here so x plus 2 this is the equation line which I'm looking for okay let's move on to the second question since delta equation line pass through this point b so let's plug in the, this coordinate into this equation so we have y equal 1 equal m prime x equal minus 1 plus q okay so now equal minus m prime plus q okay we are going to determine m prime and q since uh, this this delta prime and delta are parallel so since we know m multiplied by m prime or minus one so what is m m this one is two multiplied by m prime we don't know the m prime yet minus one so m prime or minus one over two this is the slope 
of of this equation line okay now i'm looking for q okay so we know this we know one equal minus m prime plus q minus m prime is one over two plus q right okay so now q equal one minus one over two which is one over two now my equation line y equal to m prime we already uh, determined that so which is minus one over two minus one over two x q is one plus one over two okay this is the equation line for the delta line okay this is the good place where i can stop don't forget to support us by subscribing thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye